I'll tell you what, how about we go rock, paper, scissors? Ooh, oh, I don't think so. No. Anecdotal evidence suggests that in a game of rock, paper, scissors, players familiar with each other will tie 75 to 80% of the time due to the limited number of outcomes. I suggest rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> what? Oh, it's very simple. Look, scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. Okay, I think I got it. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Oh. Fellow warriors, this is Sheldor the Conqueror, we are about to enter Axel's fortress. Now, this is a long run, so let's do another bladder check. <laughs> All right, Barry, we'll wait for you again, but you really should see a doctor. <laughs> Sheldor is back online. Sheldor? The Conqueror. What are you doing? AFK. <laughs> I'm playing Age of Conan, an online multiplayer game set in the universe of Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian. Oh. Sheldor, back online. What's AFK? AFK. <laughs> Away from keyboard. Oh, I see. What does that stand for? <laughs> Oh, I see. Yes, but what does it stand for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm finding your reckless nonchalance regarding the check engine light to be very troubling. Get out. Well, if I may proffer a suggestion, in bars all across this great nation of ours, Thursday night is ladies' night. <laughs> Which means, as the evening progresses, we will get better looking, courtesy of 99-cent margaritas and two-for-one jello shots. <laughs> Come on, Howard. The odds of us picking up girls in a bar are practically zero. Oh, uh, really? Are you familiar with the Drake equation? The one that estimates the odds of making contact with extraterrestrials by calculating the product of an increasingly restrictive series of fractional values, such as those stars with planets and those planets likely to develop life. N equals R times FP times NE times FL times FI times FC times L. Yeah, that one. Here, Sheldon, I pulled the new Hellboy for you. It's mind-blowing. Excuse me, spoiler alert. Why well, didn't spoil anything. You told me it's mind-blowing, so my mind is going into it pre-blown. <laughs> Once a mind is pre-blown, it cannot be re-blown. I'm sorry. Said the Grinch to Christmas. Uh, excuse me, do you know anything about this stuff? I know everything about this stuff. Okay. I have my own wholesale flower business, and I want to hook up my computer in the front entrance with the one in my refrigerated warehouse. Here, buy this one. Look, it's the one we're getting. See? Happy guy. Oh, no, 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 no. She doesn't want that. She needs a point-to-point -point peer network with a range extender. Thank you. Which hard drive do I want? Firewire or USB? It depends on what bus you have available. <laughs> I, I drive a Chevy Cavalier. Oh, dear Lord. Sheldon, we have to go. Not now, Penny. This poor man needs me. You hold on. I'll be right with you. But what computer do you have? And please don't say a white one. So we're all standing around looking at the post-op x-ray, and there it is, clear as day, right in the guy's chest cavity, one of my earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What did you do? <laughs> What do you think I did? I discreetly slipped off the other earring, put it in my pocket, and then got the hell out of there. I have a bone to pick with you, sir. Oh. Hi, Sheldon. Hi, Stephanie. I'm sorry I'm late, but your companion left the most indecipherable invitation. <laughs> what invitation? We're going to the movies. What movie? What theater? What time? <laughs> 
If you were trying to make it impossible to locate you, you couldn't have done a better job. Oh, clearly I could have. <laughs> It took me nearly 20 minutes to go through the browser history on your computer to see what movie times you looked up. <laughs> Wait here, I'll find us seats. Oh no, we have seats. Not the right seats. <laughs> ha! <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> what is he doing? He's finding the acoustic sweet spot. <laughs> always do this? Sometimes he brings a toy xylophone. <laughs> Ho! Ho! I am really sorry about this. No, it's fine. You know, sweet. <laughs> My apologies. You've been sitting in it all along. Leonard, do you want to slide over one? No, you just sit here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is it. Gentlemen, I put it to you. The worst tapioca pudding is better than the best pudding of any other flavor. First off, that is axiomatically wrong because the best pudding is chocolate. <laughs> Secondly, the organic structure of tapioca makes it a jiggling bowl of potential death. It is extracted from the plant. Hey, I'm thinking of growing a mustache. Oh, no kidding. Fu Manchu, a handlebar pencil? It's extracted from the plant. Sure yet. You know, George Clooney has one now. I once saw him shopping at Ralph's. He was buying tequila. Oh, you think a guy like that would have some kind of booze lackey? All right, this is cruel. We better let him finish before his head explodes. All right, Sheldon, why is tapioca... Tapioca is extracted from the root of the plant Monohot Escalenta due to a high concentration of cyanide. It is poisonous in its raw form and lethal if prepared improperly. <laughs> Feel better now? It is also indigenous to Brazil, as is the cocoa bean from which we get chocolate, the best pudding. And you promised you wouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> All right, there's no need to bark at me. <laughs> well, according to the inexplicably irritable nurse behind the desk, you'll be seen after the man who claims to be having a heart attack but appears to be well enough to play doodle jump on his iPhone. <laughs> we have to fill these out. Describe illness or injury. I dislocated my shoulder. All right. And how did the accident occur? You already know that. Cause of accident. Lack of adhesive ducts. <laughs> okay, medical history. Have you ever been diagnosed with diabetes? No. Kidney disease? No. Migraines? Getting one. <laughs> Are you currently pregnant? No. Are you sure you look a bit puffy? Change migraine to yes. When was your last menstrual period? Oh, next question. I'll put in progress. Okay, moving to psychiatric disorders. List all major behavioral diagnoses, e.g. depression, anxiety, etc. Oh my God, what the hell does this have to do with my stupid shoulder? Episodes of subpsychotic rage. Ass. 
possible Tourette's. <laughs> My moles, lesions, or other skin conditions. Soup tattoo on right buttock. Hey, Sheldon, Sheldon, look, I am scared and in a lot of pain. Could you please take a break from being you for just a minute and try being, I don't know, comforting? <clears throat> I'm sorry. They're there. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Sheldon's here. Thanks, that's much better. This is Ira Plato, and you're listening to NPR's Science Friday. Joining us today by phone from his office in Pasadena, California, is Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Oh, this is going to be a Wyatt. Thanks for being with us today, Dr. Cooper. My pleasure, Ira. Now let's talk about magnetic monopoles. Can you explain to our audience just what a monopole is? Of course. First, consider an ordinary magnet, which has, as even the most uneducated in your audience must know, two poles. <clears throat> uh, north and south pole. If you cut that in half, you have two smaller magnets, each with its own north and south pole. Uh, Dr. Cooper, I think there might be something wrong with our connection. Uh, no, I hear you fine. As I was saying, an ordinary magnet has two poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole is that it has only one pole, hence monopole. A requirement for string theory or M theory, if you will. Okay, let's check out the females. All right. There's a female. That's Professor Wilkinson's wife. She's like 80 years old. But she's female. Isn't that the game? No, I'm looking for a hookup. Oh, yes. So the point of this exercise is for you to find someone to copulate with. Not so loud, but ideally, yes. Thanks. Thank you. And what is my function as wingman? You help me run my game. Okay. And what is your game? <laughs> when I lie through my teeth to a woman, you nod and agree. Hey, that's pretty cool. What is it? It's a limited edition Green Lantern Lantern. My friend is looking for someone to copulate with. <laughs> Martha, come here. Meet Raj and Sheldon. This is my friend Martha. Hi. Hello. Hello. Is that the limited edition Green Lantern Lantern? In brightest day, in darkest night, no evil shall escape my sight. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Thank you. Have you chosen one to copulate with? <laughs> the dog. Goida. The roof. Gato. <laughs> Grapes. <laughs> Raipalit. <laughs> One minute. Sisan. <laughs> what was that? It means come in. It's taking forever to load the new operating system on my computer. I disinfected the kitchen and the bathroom, and now I thought I'd learn Finnish. Joji Karikar. That's Hindi for whatever floats your boat. Uh, listen, I got a text from that girl, Abby, and she and her friend Martha want to hang out with us again. What do you say? I don't say anything. I merely offer you a facial expression that suggests you've gone insane. I don't get it. You had a great time. Yes, exactly. I had a great time. That's done. I've moved on to other things. For example, after I learn Finnish, I'm not going to learn Finnish again.